Oh, at long flipping last. There you are, Mash. Hmm? Looking for moi? Maz, how have you been? We've been scouring high and low for you. Uh, yes. Lovely to see you too. You have some business to discuss? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Pull the other one, Mash. It's got bells on it. So cold, Mazzy. Ice cold. Don't pretend you don't know what we're talking about. Me and my fair lady ordered matching accessories. Quite a while ago, too. It's getting silly now. Yeah, and I recall we paid a pretty penny up front, too. Don't want to rush you, Maz, but come on. Uh... Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, of course, I hadn't forgotten. I was uh, literally just pinning down the final touches on the design. I'm on the cusp of beginning production. <laughs> Oh, you were, were you? Well, I'm glad to hear it, Mash. Phew! I was sweating buckets there. Thought the whole thing had slipped your mind. Perish the thought. That would be tragic. <laughs> right. <laughs> My sincerest apologies. It did, in fact, utterly escape me. Figured. Figures. But, Maz, you're so chuffing brilliant at what you do. It's just such a crying shame that you're like this, you know? Oh, how it pains me to know it. Hey, at, at least you remembered now. We're, we're still on board, by the way. Long as you give us a discount for the trouble. We're looking forward to the finished products. Ta-ta! Well, I put my foot in it again. Perhaps I ought to hire a clerk. What is the deal with those guys? They're soldiers, those two. Illustrious members of the Lost Numbers. Not to mention my clients. Previously, I received a commission from them for a pair of matching accessories, but clearly my mind was otherwise occupied. Letting my clients wait any longer than this is going to tarnish my reputation. I'll have to expedite my work. Should we help? What? Are you quite sure? We'd be pretty crappy friends if we just left you in the lurch now, innit? Gosh! Well, I'm incredibly grateful for the offer. I shall have to be sure to compensate you appropriately when the order is completed. Will we need to leave the city again to gather materials? No. Before any of that, we will need to prioritize information gathering. Information? What kind? And why? Even the most basic accessory necessitates a great deal of thought. One must consider its shape, application, presentation. But above all else, it is imperative to pin down the nature of the individual to whom it will ultimately belong. How do you mean, nature? We must learn more about Jake and Tessa, find out what makes them tick. Only then will we discern the accessories they desire. That is how I do things, and that is where we must begin. Sounds like a really roundabout way to do things. Why not just ask them yourself? Only a third-rate charlatan would consider such a thing. The true creme de la creme must fulfill their clients' orders without uttering even a word. But you don't have much time. <laughs> Which is why I'm very grateful for your assistance. We may have our work cut out for us. I suppose we should start by asking people who are close to those two. That's the way indeed. Then let's begin our inquiries. We must talk to Jake and Tessa's compeers in the Lost Numbers and find all we can about them. Always nice to see Jake and Tessa, yeah? They seem a bit wishy-washy, if I'm honest. Well, let's see. Their actions will surely speak for themselves.
Would you believe it? Huh. Would you believe it? Story. That should be in information enough for now. Shall we reconvene? That should be information enough for now. Shall we reconvene? Sounds good. I'm just gonna lie here, and you can't stop me. This reminds me. Well, this wasn't what I was expecting. I know. I figured they'd be a couple of quirky jokers. Sounds like they've had it rough. Indeed. They appear so ostentatious and fickle, one could be quick to dismiss them as mindless followers. But the truth is that they are loyal soldiers both, and they care deeply for each other. In which case, I'd be inclined to substitute an eye-catching design for something altogether more somber. The accessory they seek is most likely... Hmm. Most likely... what? That shall have to wait. In any case, I have a clear idea of what would suit them now. You've been a tremendous help. Good to hear. So I'm guessing the next step is we go looking for the materials, yeah? Aha, you guessed correctly. Are you going to tell us what we need? Yes, yes. I'll need two things. One of them, far easier to come by. I'll start with that. One may find rose quartz growing on Corn Island, on the Arithia Sea. What I would need is a quartz crystal with a particularly high purity, known as Red Shawl. Corn Island. Got it. Let's go take a look.
There's crystals everywhere. How are we going to find the right stuff? That's a question best left for our resident expert, Masha. Something so valuable here. Got a rare doodah right here. The next leg of our journey will take us to the Orion Tunnels. Hold on. Don't tell me you're taking us down there to do actual mining for you. Close, but no mica. It's not minerals you'll be mining this time, but monsters. Huh? Not literally, right? Deep in the Orion Tunnels, there's said to exist a rare species of rockle. The unique mineral which takes root on its back, Argentium, will be our next target. Though I must confess, I have only ever set eyes on it but a single time. How are you so sure that you'll be able to find it, then? Well, we had no trouble getting the first material. Let's stay optimistic. Better hope our luck's not run out yet. Off to the mines with us, then.
Revenen. Are they fighting each other? Right. Let's Sometimes push on. I've got the agenda without too much fuss. 
We were fortunate indeed. Well then, the city beckons. Once again, your incomparable efforts have paved the way forward. Thank you, my dears. I feel now that I can finally produce the accessory I have in my mind's eye. Isn't this an excessive amount of time and effort for a couple of accessories? That, good sir, is the difference between the ready-made and the tailor-made. That and it's my sales point. All right, you may have to give me a while. It is complete. Good work, Masha. Okie doke. Time to deliver the goods to those two. Yes, just a moment. I've given them a call and arranged for them to take delivery at the Founders Square. I really hope they'll like them. They better. After all the trouble they put us through. <laughs> you needn't worry. They will be satisfied, I assure you. Or my name is not Masha. So it's bracelets this time, huh? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Rings, bracelets, and the like happen to be my forte. Jake! Tessa! So sorry to have kept you waiting. These would be the items you requested. Do check if they're to your liking. <laughs> Finally! Really kept us waiting, eh? I know. I am buzzing. The silver luster comes from an alloy of argentium. To my understanding, it is one of the strongest precious metals there is. Your unbreakable ties inspired the design at the heart of the bracelet, inlaid with a red gem of the highest purity. Those bracelets will not corrode or tarnish, and will preserve your bond for a great many years down the line. Whoa! This will do just grand. I couldn't have asked for something better. Kind of scary how perfect it is. Amazing! We barely told you anything. I really must confess, this is arguably one of my finest works to date. What better keepsake could there be to assuage the both of you alike? <laughs> well, so you knew. So you already know that much about us? Hardly. It was quite simple. This was not the first time I've been enlisted for such a request. I'm not psychic. Wait, what's this about? A keepsake? You know what happens to us folk when we pop our clogs? Yeah. We're lost numbers fighting at the front. Our numbers could be up tomorrow. And nothing will be left of us. We will just whoosh into light. It's crap. We're not having any of it. Our names will go up in some cenotaph, but all will be is just another statistic. Yeah, so you see, we figured there had to be a better way for us to be remembered by. Something that would last long into the future. 
Something that we'd be proud of, to keep us in good memory. And that's where the keepsakes come in. There is naught in this life more beautiful and precious than a happy, cherished memory. And yet, it is human nature that the more precious we perceive a thing, the more we fear it might be whisked away. Like these two here, they aren't the first city folk who wished to set their memories in stone. And certainly won't be the last. To leave something permanent, telling the world that they once lived. Their lives history writ, and spirits enshrined. <sighs> A love that cannot be seen, immortalized in physical form. Therein lies the quintessence of my work as lapidarist extraordinaire. Now that there's the head of House Cassini. Gals are cut above. We were right to stick by you. Thanks, Emil. You're a gem. Trust us. We'll take extra good care of them. Until our final breath. No. For a long, long, long time yet. <laughs> if the both of you are satisfied, then I am too. Those bracelets, may they serve you well and impart to you a future both bright and prosperous. All right, that about wraps up the order. I'm truly grateful for all the support you've given me, you know. Rare is the job where one can feel such fulfillment. Before we wrap up, I'd like to ask you something. Yes, I'm all ears, my dear. Those two appeared to mention something quite significant back there. The head of House Cassini. My, oh my, oh my. It seems I've been found out, have I? What is this House Cassini? One of the city's six houses. You know, like the house fandom that Monica leads. If you're the head, then that makes you Monica's equal. You must be in quite the position of power. Oh, hardly. I would never compare myself to the likes of Moni, dearest. I only succeeded the role as a formality when the former head unexpectedly made it known that they were going to step down. And that doesn't interfere with your Lapidus extraordinaire business? Doesn't seem very leaderly. What's everyone got to say about that? Free is the citizen who embraces their freedom. We of House Cassini are free spirits, more so than the other houses. Such has been our code for generations. So long as one forges one's own path in life, unbound by societal principles, my house's role is to respect and support them in it. So, you see, I serve the people of the city in my own way as I personally see fit. Wow, there really are all kinds in the city, huh? Well now, that was a job well done. And thanks to the experience, I believe I have some new ideas for accoutrements. Let me use this sudden flash of inspiration to put our contract to good use. You did do the Ferris's share of the work, after all. Thanks, Masha. We'll be counted on you. <laughs> and I shall expect nothing but the finest patronage. Would you believe it? I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me.
All right, let's get going. Time. Just part of the protocol, innit? It's a wasting. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? That ought to do it. Tuck that away safely now. An equitable exchange. Everyone got their strength back. Huh. Would you?